Today, we're gonna to talk about a peanut butter and jelly sandwich that costs only $350. It's on sale. Hey everybody, welcome back to the newsroom. I am Neil Winteregg, joined as always by Dr. Greg Winteregg, CEO of Matterhorn Business Development and author. You can find out more about his book, Fun at Work, down below. We have Kindle, paperback, audio, everything you need to be able to get through the book and have more fun at your job. But today, we are here to talk about a $350 peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Yeah. And a $1,000 hot fudge sundae. Yes, a $1,000 hot fudge sundae. Now, his $1,000 hot fudge sundae is from a while ago. I don't know if that thing still exists. <laughs> he likes talking about it. So we saw an article about a restaurant in Chicago that saw that some restaurant was charging $299 for a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So they went to the next level, and they have gold leaf bread and amazing honey and jam and all kinds of stuff. And they charge $350 for this peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I love it. Now, at first glance, that's a lot of money for a peanut butter that's and jelly sandwich, isn't it? That's a lot of money for a PB and J. It's a lot of money for a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. But you have to think about your product or your business and what is the actual value mm -hmm. of what it is that you do. Yep. Because this is where people get into trouble is that they undercharge or they feel like it has to be cheap. And a lot of times I meet with somebody and they tell me what they do and I say, how much does it cost? I go, you gotta raise your prices. Exactly. Because what you're providing is worth so much more than what you're charging. Absolutely. And here's what I love about the, the restaurant in Chicago. When they found somebody had a $290 peanut butter and jelly, they went to 350. They didn't go to 249. They didn't try to undercut the competition. Right. They said, they don't have anything. Look at our PB&J. Yeah. So we oftentimes think that price is the driver. And it absolutely is for 6% of the population. I paid somebody to go to Clearwater Beach years ago and do a survey and survey 100 people. And what they thought was most important when buying something. 39% said they wanted a sales rep that was helpful. They wanted product uh, knowledge. And only 6% said the price was the driver. The most important thing in the deal was the price. Right. So somebody who's gonna go to McDonald's and get something off the dollar menu is never, never gonna pay $350 for a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So you have to take a look at the value of what you're offering there will always be people out there that will pay for it. And it's also very possible that the $350 peanut butter and jelly sandwich is just a PR play to mm -hmm. um, get a news article written by them, which worked. <laughs> it and worked. And have two morons talk about it. So <laughs> that's also worked. So, But it's also driving people in who correct. just want to see it. Or just... Yeah, just say wanted. I went to the place that has the three hundred and fifty. It's sort of like restaurants that serve like spicy food challenges. Mm -hmm. You know, I right. want to be able to go, and I, there's no way I'm going to eat a ten pound cheeseburger, but it was funny, and I ate five bites of it, and I threw up, or whatever. Exactly. There's a there's a a, a reason behind it that brings value to the restaurant. But let's look at um, like Rolls Royce, for instance. Right. A cheap new Rolls Royce, I think, is four hundred thousand dollars somewhere Probably, in that yeah. ballpark, and you can get ones that have starlight pattern lights that flash up <laughs> on the on the ceiling. And you know, I look at that stuff and I think that's ridiculous. I would never buy a car like that because I want something that's fast. I want this. I want you know. But let's let's look at something for a second here. I had this realization once when I was out with one of my friends when we were doing public speaking. And he liked to go out and eat expensive dinners. Mm -hmm. So there'd be five or six of us on the road. We're cheap. He's not. <laughs> so he would go off and find the expensive, fancy places. And it would be a two-hour dining experience by himself mm -hmm. to go and eat at these places. And he would spend two or three hundred dollars. On himself. On himself. Yeah. And sometimes we'd be like, oh, was that expensive? He's like, oh no, it was only 180, you know, or whatever. And we're <laughs> like, we spent 15 on a cheeseburger, you know? But then I did the math one day. Yeah. If you take how much money he makes. True. Versus how much money I make. Mm -hmm. He's actually doing better on his $200 dinner than I did on my $15 <laughs> cheeseburger. Isn't that funny? If as you think about it, right? As far as the ratio, right? as as the ratio yep. goes, I was splurging. 
You know, I was splurging on my $15 cheeseburger if you think about it, right? Right. So in reality, maybe a $350 peanut butter and jelly sandwich for some people well, is like me eating a Cliff Bar. Yeah, it's going to attract a different segment of the population. Mm-hmm. And so maybe you've heard the story of somebody who was trying to sell their house for 300000 and they bumped it up to three forty five, dollars and then it sold overnight. So there's always that segment of the population that is going to look for something higher priced as long as you can provide the value. And that's the part is that- It's the value. It can't just be the price. Right. It has to be what it is that you're actually bringing to the table. And so on the peanut butter and jelly, there was some gold foil something. The honey came from, you know, planet Mars or something. And like it was, they felt like they added the value. So now here's my point. We oftentimes as entrepreneurs, we add the value, but then try to compete on price. Mm-hmm. You have to decide, are you competing on the value or are you competing on the price? Because if you're competing on the price, you can't have gold foil and honey from Mars. You're, you're going to have to like lower your standard if you're competing on price. So for me, I'm always one to compete on value. So now charge we'll- what you're worth and then deliver that and more. Over deliver it beyond and you'll have customers for life. Yeah, now I will say there is a unique situation that you can sometimes find yourself in where you can bring more value and less price to the table than your competition Mm -hmm. and just be totally unique and totally different. Now, I actually have experience in this with something that I'm doing Mm -hmm. where I can afford to sell something less and have a better quality product than the competition. And that is because it's just me. Yeah. I don't have a warehouse, I don't have staff, I don't have things. Now, if I were to hire people and mm-hmm. I was to get a new location, then my price would all of a sudden have jump up, up yep. and it would be a different story. So you might be able to do both. Mm-hmm. Entrepreneurs think outside the box mm-hmm. to where you can actually charge a lower price with a higher quality and still make a great profit because of the way you have it set up. but. If the business grows, the cost has to go up with it. You have to think of these types of things. But the bottom line is resist the temptation to add value at the same time slashing price. If you're adding value, raise the price. And that's what they did with the peanut butter and jelly sandwich. They added value and then they went $50 over the competition. Mm -hmm. So you must charge for the added value that you bring to the table. And it doesn't even have to be be a product. It can be a service like, you know, on call, you know, if you're a heating and air conditioning guy and you're in Florida and somebody calls you at four o'clock in the morning, then you get out of bed and you go and you charge $500 for a house call. You know, that that kind of service you can charge for. So do not hesitate to charge for the, the value that you bring to the table. Yep. And, you know, maybe you have the next $350 peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Mm-hmm. Well, if you can do that, then go ahead and do it. There's nothing wrong with Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Go for it. Yeah. So that's all we have to say today. I hope you learned something new. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe down below, and we'll see you next week on the newsroom.